conscious part of your mind. And in order to do so, I'm going to be asking your higher mind to take full control of the index finger of your left hand, the one that's nearest to me, and to allow that finger to lift. allowing higher mind to take full control so that higher mind can communicate with me. So we're going to use this finger as a signal for me when the answer to a question is yes. So just allowing higher mind to take full control now of that index finger of your left hand, the hand nearest to me, and just allowing it to lift. Thank you. And can Higher Mind confirm, is this the signal for yes? Just confirm that that is the signal for yes for me, thank you. And I'd like to ask Higher Mind to choose another finger on the same hand to signal to me when the answer to a question is no. Thank you. And so I'd like to ask Higher Mind if we have permission today to go on a journey into the memory banks to find the source of the origin of the challenge, thank you, that Sabrina has been facing with regard to trust with regard to not trusting other people and not trusting herself. This challenge that has led to her finding herself in situations where she is thinking the thoughts of what have I done or why are they doing this to me? The hurt and the anger that's generated as a result of trust being broken. And so, high mind, will that be okay? Thank you. And just to ask High Mind if it would be a guide for us on the process to take us to the appropriate space and to the relevant lifetime. Thank you. And to ask if it's going to be okay for Sabrina to relive and re-experience the events of that lifetime as if she was there so that we can allow the full healing to take place. Will that be okay? Thank you. And... While we're here, I just want to do a quick check. Hi, Mind, are there currently any energies in Sabrina's energy field that don't belong to her? Okay. And is there more than one energy in the energy field that doesn't belong to her? Are there more than five? Are there more than three? Are there more than four? Are there four energies in the energy field? Okay. And these energies in the energy field, have they been there for a long time? Okay. And um, have these energies been there since childhood? But they've been there for a, have they been there for a matter of years? Okay. And was there something particular going on in Sabrina's life when these energies came along? Okay. And were they attracted to her for some reason? Yeah. And... Um, Is there a connection between these energies? No. Okay. And I'm just going to check. Higher mind, would it be okay for me to speak to uh, one of these energies verbally to find out what they need? Okay, so Sabrina, what I need you to do is just in your safe place, just drift off. Just go and find yourself somewhere safe where you can rest. Perhaps go and sit down or lie down. Just be comfortable for a little while. And as you allow your awareness to drift back a little bit, we're just going to invite one of these energies just to, just to float up through the energy field and just come all the way up to the vocal cords just so that I can speak to them, so that I can find out who they are and what it is that they need. So we're just allowing the energy to float all the way up to the vocal cords now. And so, my name's Lorraine, and who's this? What's your name? Anna. Anna. Hello, Anna. And how old are you, Anna? Eight. You're eight. And how long have you been here? How long have you been here with Sabrina? Seven years. For seven years, yeah. And can you remember what was happening to Sabrina at the time when you came and joined her? Mm, not really. No. And what was it that attracted you to her? Ca 
behind this? She was kind, yeah. And um, so tell me, sweetheart, what happened to you at the end of your life? What happened? Mm. I don't know. You don't know. It got cut short quite soon, didn't it? You're only eight years old. Can you remember what happened? Mm. No. No, it's all right, sweetheart. So, darling, can you tell me what, what kind of impact have you been having on Sabrina? Have you been quite sad? <laughs> I know. I know, you've been a bit stuck, haven't you? Yeah. So, sweetheart, can you remember when, when you were in your own body, can you remember who you loved? Somebody that you loved and someone that loved you? <sighs> mommy. Your mummy. Yeah, I know, my darling. And I think that your mummy will have been looking for you. So, sweetheart, we're going to invite in by asking my guides and Sabrina's guides to go on a search and we're going to go and find the soul aspect of your mummy who is up there in the spirit realms. We're going to go find her higher self so that you can be reunited with her. Would you like that? Yeah? Yeah. You'd like to be connected with mummy again? So what I want you to do, sweetheart, is I want you to look up. I want you to look up into that portal of light that's opened up above Sabrina's head. And as you look up, can you see, can you see Mummy up there now? She's on her way. You just keep looking. The guides have gone to find her. And any minute now when you look up, you're going to see her there. Can you see her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, does she look happy to see you? Yeah. She's very happy to have found you, isn't she? She thought you were lost forever. So my darling, I want you to know that we're going to forgive you for any impact that you might have been having on Sabrina, any sadness that you might have been causing her. But we know that it wasn't your fault. And I want you to know that you're going to be safe now. We're going to return you back to the spirit realms, back to be with mummy. Is that alright? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, my sweetheart. So we're going to invite you to just float up now, to just float up and out of the energy field. Just floating up and out. Just floating up and out. And as you float up and out, just reaching up a hand to mummy. And mummy's going to reach down. That's it. That's it. Mummy's going to reach down and help you. Take you all the way back to where you need to be in the spirit realm. That's it. That's it. Floating all the way up and out now. That's it. All the way up and out now. Well done. Well done. Very good. Now, hi, mine. Can I just check? Has Anna been, been released now? Thank you. And so, we're just going to invite the second of the energies. Just come all the way up to the vocal cords now. Just come all the way up to the throat. And um, who's this? What's your name? John. John. Hello, John. How old are you, John? Eight. You're eight as well. How long have you been here, John? Five years. You've been there for five years. And can you remember what was going on in Sabrina's life when, when you joined her? Mm. Was there something happening? Yeah, what was going on? <laughs> she was in trouble. She was in trouble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and um, was that familiar to you, sweetheart? Have you been in trouble? Yes. Yeah. What did you do that got you in trouble? Um, I was playing, but I don't know. You were playing, and then what happened, sweetheart? What happened at the end of your life? I don't know. I think I got hit by a 
person. You got hit by something. Yeah. Can you remember what it was? I think I was playing in the tracks and I wasn't supposed to. Oh, you were playing in the tracks. Mm. Yeah. Mm, and that must have been a bit of a shock, wasn't it? Was it a big train? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, sweetheart, do you know what kind of effect you've been having on Sabrina? This time that you've been here with her. What kind of impact have you been having on her? Mm, I don't know. Mm, have you been getting her in trouble? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. So, sweetheart, when you were in your own body, who was it that you loved? And who loved you? Mummy and Daddy. Mummy and Daddy. Yeah. Okay. And again, I know that they will be looking for you. On a soul level, they would have been looking to see where you'd gone to. And while you're here, in this body, you can't get home. So we need to, we need to help you. So I'm going to ask the guides to go and find your Mummy and Daddy. Up there in the spirit realms. Mm. Their higher selves. And to bring them into that portal of light. And sweetheart, when you look up, when you look up there now, can you see Mummy and Daddy up there? I think so. Yeah. Mm. And do they look happy to see you? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, want to, they want to bring you back, don't they? So, sweetheart, will you take all of your energy with you? All of your energy yes. with you? And just float up to Mummy and Daddy. All right, sweetheart. So, and we, again, we'll forgive you for any... Anything that you may have done or any, any interfering that you might have done here in Sabrina's energy field. And so we're just going to allow you to float up and out now, sweetheart. So, John, you can go back to Mummy and Daddy now. You can go back to Mummy and Daddy and you can carry on playing, but in a safe place up there in the spirit realms. So just mm. floating up and out. Just allow Mummy and Daddy to help you as you float all the way up and out now. That's it. All the way up and out. I'm just checking with higher mind now. Has John been released? And we're just going to invite the third of the energies now just to come all the way up to the vocal cords. All the way to the vocal cords now. And tell me, who do we have here? Rob. Rob. Is it Rob? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hello Rob. And how old are you? Ten. You're ten. How long have you been here, Rob? Three years. For three years. And can you tell me what was going on in Sabrina's life when you came along, when you came and joined her? Um, she needed help. She needed help. Yeah, what kind of help did she need? Mm, I think she needed friends. She needed friends, yeah. And was that a feeling that was familiar to you? Yeah, did you need a friend? Yeah. And so tell me, sweetheart, what happened to you? Mm. What happened at the end of your life? I don't know, there was something... Someone hurt me. Someone hurt you. Oh, I'm sorry that you had to experience that, my darling. I'm really sorry. I know. I know. <laughs> and so tell me, what was it that attracted you? She needed help. What did you think that she could help you? Yeah. Oh, sweetheart. I know. I know. But you're safe now. You're safe now, sweetheart. And we're not going to let anybody hurt you ever again. I know. I know. I know, darling. So, sweetheart, when you were alive, and when you were in your own body, who was it that you loved? And that loved you? Mummy. Your mummy. Yeah. I know. You miss mummy, don't you? Okay, 
so we're going to get the guides to go on a search. <laughs> Because I think it's time that you were reunited with your mummy so that she can take care of you, okay? She's going to keep you safe and she's going to look after you and she's not going to let anybody hurt you ever again. So my darling, I need you to look up into that portal of light because the guides have gone on a search now to go find your mummy. And as you look up now, can you see her up there? Yeah. exactly why it was that you had that experience <laughs> and it's all going to make sense to you when you get to that place mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. yeah it's all going to make sense <laughs> so mummy's ready to take you now. that's it sweetheart you just allow yourself to float up to mummy now. there you go there you go just taking all of your energy with you sweetheart taking all of your energy that's it that's it floating all the way up to mummy now that's it that's it, all the way up and out. All the way up and out now. Well done. Well done. And hi, mine. Can I just check that Bob has been released? Thank you. And then we're just going to invite the last of these energies all the way up now. All the way up to the vocal cords. Just so that we can speak to them. So, who do we have here? What's your name? Paolo. Paul. Paolo. Paolo. And how old are you, Paola? I'm 12. You're 12. And how long have you been here, sweetheart? Mm. One year. For a year. Mm. And what was it that attracted you to Sabrina? Mm. She was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, and did this feel like a safe place? Yeah, and there were other children <laughs> there as well, weren't there? Mm. Yeah, but they've all gone now, haven't they? Mm. I know, so we need to send you home too, sweetheart. So, darling, can you tell me what happened to you? Mm. Mm? I think I drowned. You drowned. Oh, darling, I'm sorry that, I'm sorry that you had that experience. I'm sorry that that happened. Mm. It was my fault. It was your fault. What happened? I don't know. I just shouldn't have gone there. You shouldn't have gone. Were you in the sea or where were you? In the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want you to know that you're not going to be in trouble. And that there are going to be people waiting for you in the spirit realm. So we're going to be very, very happy to see you. So, who was it that you loved? And who loved you? <sighs> Daddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get the guides to go on a search into the spirit realms to find Daddy. To find your Daddy, who we can reunite you with. And so, sweetheart, have you got an idea of how you've been affecting Sabrina while you've been here? I just wanted to be with her. You just wanted to be with her. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Okay. But I need you to look up now mm. and find Daddy because you're going to have much more fun up in the spirit realm. So you're going to be reunited with your soul family and all of your loved ones. Mm. And you can continue on safely with your own journey and healing. And so can you see Daddy up there now? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Is he pleased to have found you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, my darling. So we're going to invite you to 
to return back to Daddy now, just taking all of your energy with you. So when you're ready, sweetheart, you can just allow yourself to float up and out. That's it. Just floating all the way up and out so that you can be reunited with Daddy. That's it. Just allowing Daddy to reach your hand down to just to help you up. That's it. Floating all the way up and out now. All the way up and out now. Well done. Well done. And I just want to check with higher mind now. Make sure that Paolo has been released. Thank you. And can I check with higher mind now that the energy field is clear? Thank you. And can I ask higher mind now to reinforce the protective layer around Sabrina's aura to ensure that no other unwanted or intrusive energies can come in? Thank you. And so higher mind, just checking now that it's going to be okay for us to go on a search now the energy field is clear into the memory banks. Thank you. To really